This time up, I'm gonna do a couple simple little cheap upgrades to my garage door opener. And I'll let you know what they are after the intro. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm having an issue, I don't know if it's an issue, but out where my car is parked there, I have the uh, home link and the dam, I can't even get the door to open when my car is right there in the driveway. The original remote that goes to the garage door opener works a little bit up the street there, but uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna increase the range. So this should work on any opener that has the little antenna wire hanging down. Like mine's got this little purple wire. So what I'm gonna end up doing is just extending that wire out. And you can just take any old wire you got. I got some leftover wire from when I uh, wired in my backup camera in my car. Um, wire splices, I mean, you don't even need butt splices. You could have wire ties. You don't even need that. You can just splice the wires together and tape them. So you're gonna need a stripper and in my case a crimper because I'm just gonna, I'm gonna crimp these but uh, I'm not gonna heat shrink. It's not really necessary. And uh, get a staple gun and some staples because I'm just gonna staple the wire. I'm just gonna come across here and staple it down this post after I close the door of course. That's gonna be the first upgrade. And since I got uh, you know, speaker wire, it's two wires. I'm just going to measure out half the length and then uh, split the wire apart, splice it so I'm not wasting any wire because you only need one. And um, make sure you get the ricketyest ladder possible and uh, have your dog out here on the chain so she can uh, wrap her on the ladder several times and damn near kill you. <laughs> So what I did here is I uh, measured off about half the length and I split these two, stripped them on one end and then on the other I just stripped off one. I'll get my hand out of the way. I stripped just one end because one end is going to be done at the end of the garage and the other is going to splice into the purple. And what I'm going to do here with these two here, I'm going to splice these together with a splice and then go back down here and peel it apart. Then you got one big length of wire. All right, now I made that nice little loop. Let's uh, go down to the other end here. Oh, drop it on the floor. How about we do that? Now we can just go. Zip. Come on, let's get this in the frame here. We can just zip it down. This isn't all getting in frame here. <laughs> now we're getting to the loop let's back this out a little bit see and then we got one nice big long wire so this end we'll work this end down but now I got one singular wire spliced in the middle I got my one end here. I'm going to put a splice on this end and we'll splice into that purple wire. Actually, let's show you what I'm doing here. I think this is an 18 gauge wire. I got the 18 to 22 splice. And we're just going to hook this end up to the purple wire up at the opener. All right, we're zoomed in on that purple wire. Put the dog going on the tripod over. There. I don't know if that's in frame, but uh... oh, dropped 
it on the floor. Let's zoom out and kind of see what I'm doing here. The sun is completely in my eyes right now. Make sure we're good and taunt. And again, I'm not going to heat shrink that. So now I'm going to wrap this up here. Put it up and over all these wires here. I don't know if you're seeing that on the. Yeah, okay. Um, here's a closer look at my opener. So by the way, this is a Chamberlain, um, and my next mod is going to work for any Chamberlain Liftmaster or Craftsman made after 97 if you have the uh, purple button. So I'm going to throw this wire over this next <clears throat> uh, joist, and then I'm going to tack it down that one. I'm going to have to close the door. But uh, well, as I'm going up and over here, I just want to make sure I'm not going to interfere with the chain at all when I bring this cable over. I think I'm going to put my first staple right here. See, I'm not going to pull it too tight. I'm just going to put a staple right there as I'm trying to hold the phone when I do this. So I just want to make sure I'm not real tight, but just enough slack so I can start tacking it up there, keeping it completely away from the chain. I'm going to have to lower the door. Okay, now the door is closed and i got a clear shot of where I'm going to run that wire. Straight down that beam. I think I'm going to, I'm going to drop it down. Some people will go up underneath. I'm just going to turn it right there, go across as far as I can. I'm going to leave it inside. Speaking of inside, <laughs> make sure you have your dog in the garage with you and that she's up to the most mischief that she can get into. You know, including chewing on bags of concrete and Whatever crap you got laying around in your uh, garage. Alright, so here it is. I got it going tied into the purple wire up and over. Stapled all down that joist. See, I put one on each end of that splice. And then all the way down there and over. And we'll get a close up of that. Here's the end. I got it out to the end and then I just brought it. Whatever excess I stapled over here did not bring it outside. So now let's go to the car and test the effectiveness of this thing. Come down my hood here. Got the dog in the front passenger seat. I'm just gonna. The door is cracked because I got her chain wrapped around it. But I am. You can see the cruise right there. Oh! And the dog knocks my tripod over. Alright, let's see. Let's hit it. Let's see if I can get it from here. Two houses away. There it goes. Yeah, alright. Awesome, man. I'm like two houses away and she goes up. Oh, I can't even. I'm not even on it. <laughs> let's see what we got here. It goes down. Come on, stop. Go back up. Baby, man. I'm like two houses away. Pretty schlick. That's all I really wanted to do with this thing because from before, I didn't really show it because I backed the car out of the driveway, but when I was about here, I couldn't get the door open. I had to be all the goddamn way up to about here before it would open. And now, it, two doors away, it opened. Yeah. Of course. I got her damn chain across the door. I'm gonna mess this thing up if I keep doing that. Did you have a fun car ride, Gert? 
Yep, mess up my mirror right while you're at it. All right, as I deal with her, we'll move on to the next uh, garage door modification. Say bye, Gertie. Okay, now into part two. My opener came with this uh, doorbell looking button. Uh, no way to control the lights. No way to lock out the openers. So basically, you know, if I didn't want somebody opening the door when I'm working in here, I'd just go yank the plug. So this mod's for any Chamberlain Liftmaster or Craftsman, I believe made after 97. Mine's a Chamberlain, but of course the part I got says Liftmaster. Uh, questions I asked on Amazon about this, this will work with my opener. But this is uh, the upgrade. You can upgrade that doorbell button to a control panel. It's a simple, your original wires just tie right in. So I'm going to mount that to the wall. Uh, these are my favorite type of anchors. I don't use those stupid uh, masonry anchors in drywall. I don't believe there's a stud where that's going to go. But uh, So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, see how there's a hook right there for the bottom screw and then the top one goes there. I think you got to take this button off to mount the top one. I'm just going to mount a screw to the wall, hang this on there, and then punch a screw through this top one to mark where I'm going to go for the second anchor. And you're going to need like, on your screwdriver, you need a pretty tiny, a fairly tiny bit. Let me see if I can get this in frame here. To get that doorbell button off. So speaking of that, I mean, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to yank the plug anyway. I don't want this thing on my tiptoes. There we go. And you probably noticed when I was stapling in the wire, I got a whole bunch mess of wires up here. Just got to say, I didn't install this opener. It was in here when I bought the house. And apparently the previous owner, when he installed the the sensors and that button just coiled up all the damn wire and zip tied it to the but I'll end up cleaning that up. Well, first thing I'm gonna do is remove these screws. Oh wow, these are Phillips. I thought they were gonna be flats. Hey, quit knocking the tripod over. Got the dog out here. Probably could have used my drill on these. and personal with this here all right let's check it out here so we got there's two screws so we're just going to undo them screws and take them wires loose and i might do that off camera I have to babysit while I'm here too. Really right about now is one of those GoPros with the the helmet strap, so I could strap a camera to my head. I'm just gonna undo these two screws, and we got wires are already hooked. So what I like to do here is I just get just take two of the screws with me and two anchors. And I throw them over on my, just toss them on the drill, the magnets will hold them, just so they're there. Before we do anything else, I'm going to, you can see there's tabs, I could probably just snap these out like that. Yep, they clip at the top, yep, and there's two little retainers on the bottom, so it comes out like that, there we go. So now we can see the access to the top mounting hole. I got a visitor. See this says red and white. And you'll notice on the wires, one has a red stripe. I got distracted. <laughs> hey! If you're both going to be out here, you need to behave. Okay, back to where I was here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, unscrew these screws a little bit, just enough to get those wires around here. You don't want to back these screws all the way out, because then you will lose them. 
we're going to wire it up just like it says. We're going to put that white wire with the red stripe where it says red and the white wire where it says white. All right, so what I'm going to do here, this thing has a little notch. Oh, it's right here for the wire to pass through. Let's see if I can focus on it. Right there. So this little wire is going to have to go in there. Back out, back out. I'm holding my <laughs> selfie stick under my hand. So I want it, I don't want it to be about the same spot it was in. I'm thinking maybe if we go about here, I'm going to have it right up against the frame. I'm going to, well, let's just do this. Let's shoot. We're not going to be scientific about it. I think we're going to go, I'm going to go right about here. Man, you know what I could do? I could use that hole from the doorbell. I'm gonna, no, it's too far over. We're going to go in line with that. I'm going to put it about here. So if it hangs out away from the door. So, you know what? Here we go. That's how we get the scientific method. <laughs> ah, yeah, we're using our brain today. It's not so cold that I'm not brain is it frozen let's go right here I'm gonna make a little mark in the drywall reach over get my drill put one screw on it and let's go like this let's see if we drill into a stud uh, she just spins Wait, no, that's on the stud. Beautiful. These anchors. That's awesome. So, I think it's sticking out too far. You can just hang that on there. Yeah, it's sticking out too far. No, that's not bad, actually. Let's get a straight on shot of this. Yeah, we're just, yeah, level, if I can hold this camera straight. So what I'm going to do here, shoot that other screw right there. Actually, before I do that, I think I'm going to, I'm going to bring this one in a little bit and then we'll hook the wires up. All right, you're getting the underneath view because I can't bring my tripod up any higher all right so we're gonna go red stripe to where it says red uh, let's see if we're getting this in frame here yep we are Don't over tight over tighten these screws, just make sure they're good and snug because you don't want these connectors coming off. Okay, fish that wire up. Let's go back up here. Okay, we're hooked up. I'm gonna hang that back on that hook. And get the wire over here. And it's tacked up on my door frame, but we have enough slack. it about right there got the drill with the screw loaded up we're just gonna shoot that right in there I'll make sure she stays straight Let's see if she flops around. I could probably stand to tighten that bottom one up a little more she's a little loose yeah, I'm going to snug up that bottom one. We'll do that off camera. Okay, now we are good and snug. So I'm going to take this, drop it in like that, snap it back in, make sure, listen for the click. Make sure it activates the button. All right. Let's 
plug it in and see if she works. Well, let's see. I got that coming out of the notch. It's already tied up on my door frame. All right. Okay, so I just plugged in the opener and the light came on. So I'm going to come over here. Let's hit the light button and see what happens. Look at that. Click, click, click. Okay, next thing, I'm gonna grab one of my openers. All right, I think it's the right one works. So let's see what we do here. Okay, close it. Now, let's go over and hit the lock button. Oh, let's see that again. The little green light. Okay, watch now. Wait, no. Let's try it again. Do you hold it for, maybe you gotta hold it. I think you gotta hold it for 10 seconds. Maybe I should read the directions. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's try it now. Okay, okay. It's flashing. Yep, look at that. Let's try it again. Yep. It works. So we got to hold it for 10. Okay, so when it's blinking like that. Okay, when it's blinking like that, let's hit the lock again. Okay, lights back. Okay, so now it's steady. Let's see. Okay, so you. Okay, so that's it. You gotta hold that down for 10 seconds. Well, let's see if this opens the garage. <laughs> you gotta press on that thing. Okay. So, you gotta give this some gusto. Yeah, it's not a, you gotta kinda press that. Nice. So that uh, little control panel, that little control panel was 23 bucks on Amazon. I will link it below. Show my ugly mug on camera here. I rarely do that. Um, so there you go. A couple little simple garage door upgrades. Some people like to take out their light bulbs and wire in those big garage lights. Nah, I'm not going to do that because I heard that it just fries the main board. I'm not going to do that. I have enough illumination from my light switch over there, so I'm not going to do that. I just like being able to control that light. That That's going to make a huge difference in the mornings when I come out here. Um, yeah, so anyway, thanks again to everybody for getting me over a thousand, man. We're monetized. Uh, more content to come. And I want to thank you all. Please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're not already. Uh, share. Comment. Please comment. Doesn't matter how stupid it is. I'll get back to you. Anyways, uh, see you in the next video. Now as you see my breath. I'll give you one more shot of this. Thanks for visiting. We'll see you in the next one.